everyone and thank you so much for tuning into channel make Bay. my name is nanya ojibe but you can go ahead and call me yay now if this is your first time tuning into this channel please make sure you show some love and like like actually like and subscribe if you are feeling the vibe because i'm on a spiritual journey so this channel here is all about spiritual improvement so with that being said if you are on a spiritual journey as well and maybe been getting a little signs here and there been seeing repeating numbers and just doing and feeling a lot of synchronicity or coincidences happening i want to get into that in this video because i'm sure you guys are probably going through the same thing i'm going through i keep seeing these numbers repeating numbers all the time and it's driving me low-key crazy so in this video i want to talk about synchronicity seeing repeating numbers and what they actually mean okay stay tuned <laughs> Hey guys so welcome back all right guys so in this video i'm about to get real i'm going to speak straight from the heart i usually have a spill with bullets and points that i want to make sure i get across and i still kind of do but it's really going to be from the heart because i'm on this spiritual journey i've been meditating you know praying scripting doing all of that and i feel that the universe is talking to me it's crazy it's crazy to the point where i'm i'm going insane and it's it's frustrating me because i don't i don't know what these signs mean and it's am i the only one that's going through this right now i can't be i can't be the only one going through this so if you guys are on a spiritual journey as one you just keep seeing these signs and you don't really know what to do i got you we about to get through this together so if you've been going through a spiritual journey which is basically just being conscious and aware of being conscious it's going to feel and look like being aware and appreciative of all of the positives in your life it's basically making an effort to look and focus on the glass being half full rather than half empty but it's not pretending like the negatives don't exist and everything is all rainbows and butterflies. When we become conscious, we are experiencing a feeling, um, a belief that no matter what happens in our life, that we are going to remain positive. We are going to remain feeling good. It's a feeling of protection. It's a feeling of surrender. So when we go through our trials and tribulations, we're not necessarily deterred by the negative or the hardship that we have to go through. We're more so feeling like we have to go through this in order to reach the other side. You know, we have to get that muscle. You know, we got to go to the gym in order to get that body, so to speak. So when we're on this spiritual journey, we know that it's a feeling that when negative things are happening to not give up to be grateful be appreciative still of everything else that's going on in your life so it's our higher power that gives us this feeling we gain an understanding that everything is working out for our good no matter what happens we are going to be good at the end of the day like for an example you're rushing to go to work because you know you can't be late it's about your third time being late and you miss the bus and that is probably so negative in the moment like what else could go wrong but what we probably do not know is that that bus actually breaks down on the third stop and them people are stranded for hours so you probably missed it for a reason and you can just hop on the next bus and get there maybe five minutes late and your boss isn't isn't even checking for you it's not even that serious rather than you being hours late and you know you probably just got fired so we have to have trust that even though we missed that bus it's a reason and we good we got this like still keep your head up and keep it moving still work hard take them take them punches take them l's even though they're not l's but they may feel like an l but take it and know that you still got it and you're still on track but it is definitely not easy to do that okay i'm i'll be the first <laughs> to say that it is not easy when 
everything is burning around you <laughs> like that meme <laughs> and you're saying everything is fine but that whole journey and experience is tough because making a conscious decision to be conscious is switching up your whole mindset it's letting go of habits that have been with you probably since birth or beliefs that you believe so strong in because your mom your brother your sister your father told you those and you believe in them or your role models are doing something so you believe in the role model and the practices that they're preaching so being consciously aware and switching up our mindset becoming this new person is it's not going to happen overnight and it's inevitable that you will slip you will fall once twice five times easy but i believe in those times especially if you still have a positive attitude if you're still striving to do and be better you are protected and it may be hard but everything is still working out for your good and in your favor and during these times this is when we start seeing signs this is when that synchronicity hits hard so synchronicity basically means an occurrence of events that really have no meaning but they resonate with you you basically give it a meaning but it happens often and a lot of people call that coincidences but if you are on this spiritual path if you know anything about spirituality you know there's no such thing as a coincidence everything happens for a reason we're too powerful for things just to be happening for no reason everything is divine everything you are divine i'm divine everyone is divine so we will be having a feeling of coincidence synchronicity all around us when we are on this spiritual journey we'll be more in tune and more sensitive to those certain signs and feelings vibes that are happening all around us it's that source that we are connected to the source the higher source the greater source that controls everything that we are actually an extension of that we came from that we are a part of synchronicity is just that energy trying and attempting to communicate with you on this physical realm it's trying to tell you something or give you guidance give you relief and our higher power knows how to communicate with us. It knows how to get our attention. Because when something resonates with you, your awareness is acute and activated. But when I see these numbers, and I have been seeing them a lot lately, it basically frustrates me to the point that, I, what, am I, what am I doing? I'm seeing 222 all the time. I see 333 all the time. I see 444 all the time. And it's like, what are these numbers telling me? It's like, I'm getting a beep on my pager and I don't have a phone to call them and say, yo, what's up? Like, what, what you want? Why are you hitting me up all the time? What's crazy is that I have been going through like a maybe a negative phase, like a negative spell where I'm just, you know, having a lot of negative self-talk. And this is when these numbers are like shouting at me, pretty much shouting. And I believe that is just the universe. It's resonating with me. It's my spirituality is now activated and it's telling me to relax, listen, pay attention and release, like surrender. You have faith before, what you tripping about now? I have faith, continue to have faith. <laughs> Basically what the numbers are doing, like relax, relax. <laughs> so with all of that being said, synchronicity is really just us continuing to create our life. We decide what we are going to do. We decide the thoughts that we are going to have. We decide the decisions we make. If I see those numbers, I'm choosing to surrender, stop, relax, pray, be thankful. And I'm choosing to think that that is a sign. So my thoughts are now towards the higher power towards something greater than myself when we have synchronicity and feel that resonated energy of a coincidence we are then choosing to stop thinking whatever negative rabbit hole we're going down and just let it go so if you are seeing a lot of repeating numbers and you don't really know what it means i did a video where i kind of explained what i believe those numbers 
mean and how they resonated with me, you can go ahead and click that link. But with all that I just said, you do some research, watch your videos, read some articles, and take what resonates with you. Take heed, pay attention, and slow down when you have that synchronicity feeling, when you feel that there is coincidence, especially when you're on this journey, especially when you're thinking more positive. And know that whatever you choose, whatever you choose to believe in or believe when you see that number or when you see the, when you see the repeating numbers, when you feel those coincidences, your belief is making it real, period. Allow seeing repeating numbers and experiencing synchronicity to be a checkpoint in your life. And I wanna close saying this, if you do not see repeating numbers, you know, if you maybe see 1112 or, you know, 223 on the time, and you feel like, oh my goodness, I just missed 111. I'm not in the right path. You know, like something's not right. My energy is all off. Don't beat yourself up. Don't beat yourself up for that. Because like I said, if you think that, so if anything, don't beat yourself up when you, when you don't see the numbers. Just be grateful and happy when you do because it is for a reason. If you did not see it right then and there, then it's not time for you. It's not time for you to see it and that's okay. Keep doing you, keep being great, focus on something else. You no, know, keep progressing. Give, just give love to someone else because then that love will come back to you tenfold. I hope this video helped. I hope, you know, we were able to have this great conversation. Some problems were solved and you feel a little better after knowing what these numbers truly mean. Cause I say mean like that because we give it the meaning you create it don't get put so much faith into the numbers still keep that faith within you because you got this you 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 have the signs just be like little cheerleaders helping you along your way helping you along this journey called life all right thank you so much guys like i always say if you made it to this point you are the real mvp i appreciate you i love you Please make sure you go ahead and like and subscribe and I will see you all next week. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Bye.